Hello everybody and welcome back again to another episode of Mass Effect 3. I think it's time that we return to the Citadel today because some people want to talk to me and I have a bunch of stuff that I uh, can deliver. As a matter of fact, to, to ensure maximum efficiency on my delivery run, I have been um, visiting all the remaining systems and I picked up pretty much all the assets. I didn't go to the Anna's Basin yet because that's where my next main mission is. But all the other um, systems are at 100% so I have all the assets and uh, whatever fetch quest stuff was there and you know some fuel and credits and nothing nothing really interesting so um, I did this off camera. So yeah I guess we are ready to go back to the Citadel again and Provided that I don't run into any other side missions, I guess afterwards we can actually continue with the main story, so there's that. But first let's uh, talk to some people, um, specifically uh, Miranda and Caden. And right, this is the uh, DLC with Aria, right? So. Let's ignore that for now and... You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Um... Well, yeah, sure. Why not talk to Caden first? I need to get to the hospital. Now where he is. Yes, in Commander. The hospital, so... Let's do that. And then I have to find out where Miranda's hiding. Also... Oh, yes, right. I have... I have... I think she needed the, the manager formula. Invaders. I found this Metagel formula. Yes. Figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. Alright, um, not sure if he has new dialogue, but let's try it. Coming by again, Shepard? I'm flattered. Um, yeah, that's just the same, same questions. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. Alright, um... So let's go and find Caden instead. Probably still in his room, right? And apparently I can give her some stuff I too. overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone. <laughs> But I found this while I was there. What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology. But with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. <laughs> alright, alright. So I'm I'm actually... can I can check off some of these uh, fetch quests off my list. Hey, look at that. He's actually uh, up and about again. Hey, Shepard. If you came to spring me, you're late. <laughs> I'm getting out soon. Good to hear. Maybe you already saw the vid, but I accepted Udina's offer. Spectre Caden Lenko. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal. Not bad. Only the second human Spectre. <laughs> it's humbling. Udina thinks they may have a pretty big ceremony, even with the war. And he says a celebration will give folks something hopeful to latch onto. And are you up for it? You ready to take on that responsibility? You set the bar pretty high, but <laughs> I'll do my best. Don't flatter me. It's strange. On Mars, I should have died. The promotion from Anderson, Spectre status. These are terrible days. But I've been lucky. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll make a great Spectre. You're perfect for the job. On Eden Prime, I could see there was something special about you. You're a good soldier. That means a lot. I'm happy. I want to serve. I thought you might want to join the Normandy. Yeah. I have thought about that. I just need to get out of here first, though. Take care of some things. I've been trying to locate my old spec op squads. My students from Biotics Division. Any luck? No. Probably went underground, but they'll turn up. <laughs> If they were easy to find, they wouldn't be doing their jobs. Well, let me know when you're out. Take care, Spectre Lenko. 
<laughs> Stay safe, Commander. Indeed, indeed. So can't I can't actually talk to him. Well, so he's he's a spectre now. That's that's interesting. And yeah, I do hope that what the hell? I believe you were looking for these prototypes. That was strange. You found them? <laughs> Thank you. These biotic upgrades will save a lot of Alliance lives. We'll begin production immediately. Here, for your trouble. Completely random cutscene just for fetch quest. Well, that was interesting. But um, as I just wanted to say, I, I would like to get Caden back on the Normandy. Okay, I need surgery, but when can I get back to the front? You're not. What? <laughs> you have extensive nerve damage. Once we remove the leg, we can't install a prosthetic for at least five weeks. I told my squad I'd fly back next week. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's impossible. Soldier, I think you need to rest and let let someone else uh, take care of the fighting for for a change. Um, yeah, I mean we we are getting you know the old crew back, Garrus, Liara, so I I want Caden on there as well. Anyway, so um we spoke to him and. Right, I have to go to General Oraka. Well, actually, I have to go to Kanik first and give him the artifacts, and then I can speak to General Oraka and tell him that he gets his weapons, right? So it was a very convoluted uh, plot line. And, um, Preacher? Diplomat. Yeah, there are some other people that I. Oh, I see. Viewing deck. Cortez and Miranda are on the viewing deck, so I'm I'm going to visit them as well. All right. Um, but maybe we can finish that damn uh, gang's quest and make Arya happy. Also, um, so the nurse tells me here. you refuse to bathe and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Can I have a gun? <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Maybe I could be transferred to another hospital then. Someplace unsecured. I could have a gun then, right? And no humans. Wherever you transfer me, it, it, it shouldn't have humans. The humans are our allies. You don't trust them? No, it's not that. I... How are my eyes? W what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, Shepard being as nosy as ever, uh, maybe I will uh, come back and try to listen to them a little bit more in in detail later Welcome, but I have so much please stuff to do so One moment, let's get some stuff done first by delivering my uh, black market artifacts because if this isn't serious then we need to talk these are two different things you're important to me but I it's not healthy to rush from one relationship to another. <laughs> well, I need to rush somewhere. If I end it with him, then I lose my partner benefits. And that includes yeah. my apartment. Okay, so maybe, just for your own security, you need to figure out an exit strategy before you talk with him. I thought I had. And I cherish the time we've had together. But... Yeah. This isn't going so well, is it? Also, I do appreciate that you're waiting for Shepard to appear again before you continue your, your discussion. <laughs> anyway, let's um, go back to the shops. Um, don't want to talk to him yet. And I hope I found the proper the proper artifacts for him. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from the purchase of the So, you're back, how about huh? any luck out there? Bartering this. Here, I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's go and talk to the General again and see if Welcome he's happy after shop. all. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian war effort. For a fresh spreadable alternative. So, um, I, I have secured your weapons. Commander mm -hmm. Shepard. I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high-end weapons to CSEC. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Hmm. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavan back, <laughs> but it's something. Obviously. Thank you, Commander. All right, all right. Um, so, um, is this actually done now? 
Yeah. Blood pack, blue suns, eclipse. Um, maybe, maybe I should go back and check in with Arya anyway. Why is there still a quest marker? I hope this is just a bug and will disappear. Yeah, maybe, maybe I will um, check in with Arya and see if she has something new to say about this. And then I guess I will try to find Miranda because um, she sent me a Welcome, message. Commander One moment, please. Now arriving at so I thought about talking Earth. to Commander Bailey some more about that guy scamming the refugees. <laughs> really? What'd he say? Any idea how busy he is? I said I thought about talking to him, not that I did. Damn it. One of these days I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> nah, you won't. I'm the only one willing to stand here with you all day. <laughs> Shut up. Um, he, he may have a point there because I never see you with anyone else except him. <laughs> uh. Didn't think I was making it off Benny. No, neither did I. Neither did I. They had it. If he hadn't drawn their fire, well, we wouldn't have made it. <laughs> no, nope, not a goddamn chance. I couldn't have done that. What he did. I I kind of would like to talk to these guys because they seem to know something about the ambassador's son, right? They're talking about that. They were talking about the Bilal guy the first time I came through here, and um, apparently he's dead. So you you could save me some trouble if you just told the truth, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's. Seriously, Head back inside here. I had a few on the way in, but I need something cheap and fruity, like you. Listen, Mel. And then I want to see dancers, and not just crappy pole work. Mel. Like, take the raunchiest thing you can imagine, and then add a hanar hanging on <laughs> somewhere. Mel. Listen, the, the guys are kind of weirded out by you being here. <laughs> okay, okay, um... Well, she has some interesting ideas about, you know, having a good time. Anyway, Arya, I did your dirty work for you. Look who's here. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? Well, I, I do deliver on my promises. So tell me about my new task force. What exactly have I acquired? An army that's willing to fight dirty. <laughs> to do the things your respectable militaries won't do. Eclipse Max and Vorcha Legions are excellent candidates for vanguards in any ground offensive. Well worth the little song and dance I had you perform, <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, okay. I hope I hope you will keep your new forces in rain and off my back because those guys are seriously bad company. And you know, think about it. This is actually pretty good title for that episode. I, I still need to name the last, I don't know, four episodes that I recorded over the last couple of days. So, yeah, I, I guess I will I will name um, the episode where I <laughs> recruited all these people bad company. Amazing song, by the way. Whatever you say, Arya. <laughs> don't be a stranger. <laughs> um, uh, speaking of which, by the way, um, I made a playlist that includes links to all the songs that, you know, uh, gave name to my episode titles because somebody asked for that. So if you go on my channel page, uh, at the very bottom there's a section called Stuff and there you can find a playlist if, if you're interested in that. Um, I mean, I usually try to pick songs that I like personally, um, so I, I think it's a very nice playlist. But at the same time, I want them to be like reasonably well known, so a lot of it is, you know, like classic rock stuff from the 60s 70s 80s uh, so but even even if you're younger and according to my YouTube statistics most of my viewers are younger than that I guess you may have heard of them uh, at some point already so uh, it might be might be an interesting listen anyway um, James is still at the bar I'm not sure if he has anything new to say but why not check in with him thanks for the drink well apparently apparently he's not interested in talking. So yeah, um let's let's go and find Miranda, yes? I think she was in the docking area and Cortez 
was uh, apparently taking some shore leave it uh, after all as well. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please One moment, moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay D24. Okay, so where is um they're both in the viewing deck. Let's see. Shepard, there you are. Oh well and there you are. Commander Shepard. It's been far too long. <laughs> we live in interesting times. A little too interesting. <laughs> I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Um... <laughs> it was devastating, but we will fight back, yes. I'm alright. We'll figure out some way to even the odds. We have to. Everybody has a weakness. Even the Reapers. Hmm. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <sighs> Not surprising. Shepard, there's something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, oh. for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. <laughs> Good luck. Well, that is cold. <laughs> so, yeah, sure, what, what can I do for you? What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Hmm. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. Well... Tell me about it. You will. Um, so, uh, yeah, what have you been doing lately? It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't mm -hmm. as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's alright. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. <laughs> okay, yeah, tell me about Cerberus. They are still looking for you? Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to hmm. work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take hmm. rejection well. I can't imagine. No, he doesn't. And, yeah, tell me about your father. What is, what is he trying to do? Why do you think your father is involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could mm. only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened. But I'll fill you in when I'm certain. Yeah, I don't know, you know, with a Reaper invasion going on, I, I'm sure a lot of people just vanish. <laughs> but um, I'm sure you have your reasons to believe that your father is involved. So, uh, what are you doing on the Citadel exactly? If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Hmm. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. Alright, alright. So, um, yeah, I hope I hope you will find her. And if you need anything... Just ask. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. <laughs> Be careful. No promises. <laughs> Alright, so this was really just small chat. 
she didn't actually want anything from me, which is um, a change. <laughs> anyway, um, Cortez is supposed to be around here too. So... Oh, is that... is that him? Yeah, I think it is. Let's 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 talk to him. You finally made it off the Normandy. Glad I did. Even with the chaos of all the refugees, seeing so many ships in flight is comforting. Gets me thinking. About? Hey, a Turian frigate. I think that's the PFS Havenkal. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for dry dock, I bet. She's seen battle. Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. Mm. Alone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting, like their families back home. Is this supposed to be a metaphor for something? <laughs> yeah, right. Is this about the Turians or yourself? Are you talking about the Turians or yourself? I should have been there. With Robert. But you weren't. You're alive. And that's a good thing. Maybe so. Yeah, I think you have a case of survivor's guilt. <laughs> and in a situation like this, I don't think um, vengeance would help. I mean, we want to you know, destroy the Reapers one way or the other, so you can sort of get your vengeance uh, by proxy, I guess, but it should be our main priority, so I guess I'll choose we must survive. The lives of future generations rest on those Turian shoulders. On our shoulders. Nobody's given up. Not those Turians. Not me. Not you. Hm. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. And I'm with you. <sighs> Gotta let go. For real this time. The refugees here put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos of lost loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Hm. Let me think about it. Hey, I'm not pressuring you to do anything. This is your call, you know? Your suggestion to come out here was a good one, Commander. I needed this. Alright, I'm, I'm glad that I could help you with my uh, clumsy advice. <laughs> Your suggestion to come out here was a good one, Commander. I needed this. Okay, okay. Um, apparently that was it. I hope I hope you will be doing better in time. Um, yeah, so... Let me check on these new people that have appeared on my map and see what this is all about. And maybe check in with some of the other people as well. Welcome. Uh, right, One embassies. Moment, now arriving at Presidium Embassy. So, we're not talking about this diplomat, what right? I, need is proof. I can't take your word on this. Because I still don't have any proof on on his son's dead death. Oh, this diplomat. I think I recovered the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. It's okay. waiting in bay D24. Really? Thank <laughs> you, Earth Clan. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? I am certain <laughs> this obelisk would help. I'm sure it would. I'm sure it would. Thank you. Thank you again, Earth Clan. Our military strength is minimal, but we are proud to help as we can. And I take any help that I can get. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm According supposed to do about this guy because why do you because the, the squad is down at Purgatory and they know what's going on and they don't talk to him about it. Anyway, uh, since I'm in the area, let's I don't know talk to Bailey and Odina again to see if they have new dialogue. So, uh, what's going on, Bailey? It never rains, but it pours, eh, Shepard? Hmm. That bad, huh? Things here are getting tense. So many refugees scuttling about. Rumors flying about the war. People are walking around eyeballing each other and we can't keep up with the reports on suspicious behavior. Hmm. Um... I think I asked all of this. Did I ask about the refugees? I may not have. Is the immigration situation any better? <laughs> it's worse. The more destruction the Reapers sow, the more ships come looking mm. for salvation. 
The strain on our resources is overwhelming. I can, I can imagine. All right, uh, good luck then. It'll probably get worse before it gets better, <laughs> Bailey. Yeah, if it ever gets better. <laughs> you two are such optimists. Um, okay, so, well, we had some new dialogue, so maybe I want to go and talk to Udina as well. Still keeping busy. Shepard, I expect you're curious about Major Alenko. <laughs> what about him? Caden's promotion to Spectre? Ah, I see. You were unaware. No. I approached him. We're in dire need of loyal agents. And he was willing. <laughs> this won't end well. Well, when did anything ever end well in, in this universe? So, <laughs> I don't know if it ends well, but I, I, I still think it's uh, good for him. <laughs> it's about time someone recognized what Caden's capable of. Yes, a biotic... Combat veteran with no PTSD, leadership skills, and most importantly, he is incorruptible. Huh. I will be keeping him close. Do not worry. The time, my schedule has a way of catching up to me. Will this be all? Um. Yeah, I think this will be all. I should go. I'll be here. But yeah, apparently it pays off to um, check in with these guys from time to time. So, where are we headed next? Um, Liara, well, I guess I could try to talk to Liara again, Garrus, and there's a preacher in the holding area, so I guess uh, we're going to talk to him and see what he wants from us. Um, holding area. Now arriving at Dogging Bay E24, emergency civilian housing. I don't know if there's anything else that's new around here. Are these two guys Excuse still me. bonding? What was your name again? Uh, Guitar. Christophe Vasser. Good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know. I'm, I'm not in there. <laughs> I don't know how long it was since I escaped Lyon. Do you know Lyon? <laughs> no. Yeah, I think they may actually be repeating their conversation now. <laughs> anyway, um, where is that preacher? Oh, actually, it's he's somewhere over here. Maintain, my brothers and sisters. We have faced adversity and overcome. <laughs> this is but a test. Remember the pillars of strength that hold our people high. <laughs> Show the galaxy our resolve. I know that your faith is weak. Our government has fallen, but if you hold the pillars of strength in your hearts, please, just don't give <laughs> up. Well, um, as it happened, I think I have exactly what you need. I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. They're yours. Waiting in Bay D-24. Thank you. Right now, my people need any reminder of their faith they can get. <laughs> I, I, would, I would like to know more about Batarian faith. That must be interesting. Welcome and there's actually a shop that I haven't seen before. Oh, that looks like some badass armor. Stand <laughs> strong for your people with Batarian State Arms. Assault Rifle Omniblade. Oh, this is for melee damage. Please observe all cast restrictions when um, making a purchase. I'm going to get this. And I but guess I may arms. get at least some Defending mods for my companions hegemony. as well. Um How about this Batarian one? State arms. Defending the hegemony. And I think that's enough for now. And that doesn't seem to be anything of interest around here. Um, I don't know, Garrus is uh, nearby, so maybe we can check in with him. I think he is in this alcove. Well, no, he, he doesn't have anything to say. I can't even talk to him. And, well, this hey, guy is still here. I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Arya. All right, that's 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 good to know. Okay, so um, I think I have done 
everything that I need to do on the Citadel. Let me have a look at my journal. Well, this looks a lot better. <laughs> look at this. Uh, my, my quest journal has cleaned out significantly. Um, this is a DLC and this is a DLC. And this is some stuff that I haven't found yet. And this would be the next story mission. So, yeah, um, I guess I will just, you know, return to the, uh, Normandy now. And we can actually go and start the next story mission in the next episode. Because I don't think I can actually do any of this stuff, uh, now. So, I think we're good to go. We're good to go. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's, uh, so let's, um, delay that to the next episode. Thank you for watching and see you again next time. The Alliance